Hi, welcome to Beatle Dave's Beatles channel. And today we are going to be discussing all things must pass, the 50th anniversary updates. Come and join me. Thanks for joining me and welcome to this update on the All Things Must Pass 50th anniversary. Going to be discussing sound quality of the CDs and also the LPs. So let's take a look at the CD set first. Okay, so there you have the CD and the Blu-ray deluxe box set. Obviously you have five audio CDs and one Blu-ray disc. Across the first two discs you have the original album. Um, discs three and four cover the day one and the day two demos with the session outtakes on disc five and the Blu-ray being disc six. Okay, let's just discuss CD one and CD two, which is obviously the original album. Um, sound quality wise, absolutely phenomenal. George's voice just has never sounded better. And the mixes, they just jump out at you. Every, everything within the mix, the sounds I've never heard before. Um, the quality, the, the acoustic guitars, the backing vocals, the bass, the drums, just about everything you could think of. I don't think you could better this mix. It's absolutely phenomenal. I mean, if you just buy the two disc set of the, just the album, it's worth having. Okay, so disc three and four is covering day one demos and day two demos. Day one demos, George has Ringo and Klaus Foreman helping him out on most of the tracks. There's 15 in all of the day one demos on disc three. And on disc four, you have an, a further 15 tracks on that disc. Sound wise on these two discs, they've done a good job. They've done George proud. There's 30 tracks there. All George's rough little demos with Ringo and Klaus helping. Um, yeah, so it's a great addition. Great addition to the album. Okay, finally, we've got disc five, which is the session outtakes and jams. There just ain't enough of it. There just needs to be an extra disc of the session outtakes and jams or alternate mixes. I wish there was more of this stuff because I love this disc. It's absolutely brilliant. There's even a version of Get Back on there, which is a little jam. But yes, definitely. In my opinion, I wish there was more of this stuff and less of the demos. But there again, that's just my opinion. Finally, the 5.1 audio Blu-ray. I've listened to this in PCM stereo and it sounds fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Just as good, if not better than the CDs. Really crystal clear. Worth having just for that alone. So lastly, we've got our poster and we've got our seven by seven booklet, paperback booklet, which has still got plenty of information. Not as much information in this booklet as there is in the 8LP booklet or the Uber box, but still a lovely little book nevertheless. So the only thing I would say about this little box is that I find that the CDs are just too tight when going into the recess and it could possibly damage them if he was really unlucky. I mean, one of them has actually got a split on one of the sides. So price wise as well, I feel that it's overpriced for what it is. It's definitely overpriced. I feel that it shouldn't be no more than about 60 pounds. Other than that, it's a lovely set. The quality's there and I don't think you'll be disappointed. Okay, everything I said about the um, CD Deluxe box set goes for this set, this 8LP set. It's absolutely, the quality is fantastic. All, all the packaging, all the boxes, all the inner sleeves, all the records themselves, they're all fantastic quality. The actual listening experience of the vinyl is obviously a different experience. But there again, the quality is just as good and sounds just as fantastic. The only thing I will say about the 8 LP box set is um, three of the LPs were actually walked extremely badly. Um, however, I've got onto Amazon and they will be exchanging the box set as soon as they can. So hopefully that won't be happening to anyone else's. It might just have been one off, hopefully. In the 8 LP set, you've got a hardback book, quite a thick book, plenty of text, plenty of great photos. So just to summarize with the 8 LP box set, Yes, it's a fantastic box set. It's well made, it's well produced. The sound quality is fantastic. The only thing I would say there again, it's just slightly overpriced. You're probably looking, I would have said about 160 pounds maximum um, would be quite sufficient. But other than that, it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, just to summarize all the options, what you have, you have a two CD set, which is the original album 
totally freshly remixed and remastered sounds fantastic you have a three cd version which has a bonus disc of extra tracks a mixture of day demos and bonus tracks you have a three lp version of the original album you have a three lp version of the original album in splatter in green and black splatter you have a 5 LP version of the box set, which is the original 3 LP album, plus a bonus 2 LPs of various outtakes. You have 8 LP box set, which I've just shown you. The first 3 LPs being the original album and the final 5 LPs being all the outtakes. You have a 5 CD stroke 1 Blu-ray Super Deluxe box set, which I've also shown you. And then you have the Uber box set, which is with a larger book, has eight LPs, the five CDs, one Blu-ray and many other items included. That obviously is a lot more money. So personally, I think the best value is the three CD set, which is around 20 to 25 pounds. And I also feel a good investment being the three LP splattered version. You could also go for the 5LP version, which is around £85, which I think is absolutely a brilliant price for 5LPs. So I think those are probably the best ones to go for. If you're not sure, you're probably better off going for a 2 or 3 CD version and one of the vinyl variants. So thanks for joining me today on my All Things Must Pass update. Why not give me a thumbs up if you like what you see? Please subscribe. And also hit that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Just a heads up, my next video will be based on the All Things Must Pass original UK box sets, along with some other variations from the US, Japan and Australia. Thanks for watching. This is Beagle Dave signing off.